Welcome to the video. We're going to be checking out the newest gameplay trailer for WWE 2K23. Yes, 2K23 is the newest entry in the 2K franchise. Uh, the revival, I guess you could say, the comeback of the WWE games came came back, you know, last last year in, I believe it was March. Same time. It's wild. I think it was March. So, this year. It's back in March again, a year, literally a year after its release. We're getting in with the second one, okay? We're gonna be checking out the gameplay trailer, so let's go. I don't ask why they call on me. Can't do no wrong when it's all on me. I'm a okay. Cody Rhodes, BB! Wow, Logan Paul's in the freaking gameplay trailer. Crazy. Oof, War Games. War Games! Insane. Ah, uh, the classics. The OGs. Ooh. No, I should be got No! Aw, oh, come on. How, how would you do my boy like that? Really? Ooh. Okay. Oh, freaking bad buddy. <laughs> Even stronger. <laughs> this is this is funny. This is crazy and just hilarious how the ads go this way. Because look at the background. Look what it says. Please don't try this at home. Okay? And what is happening currently? <laughs> Oh my god. Yes, don't don't do that at home. Don't ever do that. That is dangerous. That is crazy. Uh and it's only been done a couple times, okay? But come on, why would you do my boy like this? Why would you do my boy Shawn Michaels like this? He's getting choke slammed off this freaking hell in the cell? Come on. Really, really quick, I just want to say shout out to Logan Paul. I mean it's insane that he's in the in the gameplay trailer for 2K23. He just came here and joined WWE last year, right? And uh, just ever since he showed up and did all those matches last year, uh, he's really knocked it out the park. So shout out to him because not a lot of people can do what he did just quickly. It takes time to be a great, great wrestler, especially uh, the stuff this in the spots that he's done uh, is insane. And you can tell that he is with the crowd and the crowd can see what and feel what he's doing. It's crazy. And just he, he knows how to put on a show. Definitely 100%. He knows how to do it. And... He's been really kicking ass with all of his matches. So right here we got the Bloodline, okay, coming in. We got the Usos. We got Roman Reigns. I can't tell who the guy on the left is. It could be Solo. I I, I want to say Sami Zayn as well. I can't tell exactly. But we got the Bloodline entrance right here. The Tribal Chief, Roman Reigns, okay. Uh, yeah, you want to you wanna listen to him. You don't want to overthrow or just betray him okay because you don't know what could happen aka Sami Zayn but he looks really good they did a good job and I think a lot of the spots here in the quick gameplay is really good uh, uh yes war games this looks sick war games is gonna be awesome I cannot wait to play I'm hoping war games will be a thing in uh WWE 2k23 online you know hopefully that's a thing that'll be really really cool uh, I don't I don't know if it is, but that would be really really cool. As you can see, the two cages on the top right are on the right side. Uh, we got Sheamus, we got KO on the left side. I think that is one of the Usos and Sami Zayn. I think it is. I'm not exactly sure. And I think Drew McIntyre is inside the ring right now, currently with one of the Usos. I think if I'm seeing that correctly. But it's sick nonetheless. War Games. It's awesome, and I can't believe they brought it in. It's uh, it's something a lot of people wanted in 2K22, but hey, they brought it back here, or it's brought it brought it in in 2K23. Here's a shot of the rock bottom, or just the rock doing the rock bottom onto John Cena. Okay, and uh, I think this is gonna be crazy because of the showcase that will be available in 2K23, which is the John Cena. It's all about John Cena this year. Okay, last year was Rey Mysterio. This year is John Cena. And, uh, yeah, like I said, rock bottom on John Cena, and this is going to be, like, the once-in-a-lifetime match. Uh, this going to be a big showcase for John Cena, just like they did with Rey Mysterio, um, and it's going to be sick. I can't, be, I can't wait for that. And same thing, I guess, going back to uh, the Daniel Bryan 
showcase, right? Similar to that one as well. Definitely, I can see John Cena because he's gonna be talking a lot, you know, narrating right his matches, certain moments, right? And I, I will say, last year was sick was sick 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 the stuff that they pulled off with the transitions from gameplay to live video or like video from the past matches right uh like live action video which is sick i loved it i love certain certain moments like when going from the top rope to a frog splash and then boom transitioning or heck the i think the most seamless transition that they did was a hurricanrana like i think it was a hurricanrana right Mysterio did a hurricanrana to eddie from the third rope or whatever point is right when he's doing it and he throws them into the middle of the ring you know does the move and it switches to gameplay it's it's so seamless it looked really really good uh so i can't wait for that this year especially with a lot of john cena spots i think that's gonna be really really cool uh though there's gonna be a lot of jo missing john cena moments as well because due to the fact that some of the wrestlers are not uh, you know, in WWE currently, they're in another promotion, another business, right? Uh, so that kind of sucks a little bit, but I mean, that doesn't take the, away the fact that he's ha had a lot of other matches with a lot of great matches with other superstars throughout the years, aka The Rock with the once in a lifetime. So that's gonna be sick. But this game's releasing in March, which is super duper close. And I cannot wait to see what they do with the game, especially with other modes uh, and online features and stuff like that. I know the stuff for my faction got an online an online version of it, or just you can play online and stuff and other stuff like that. I mean, you can play together. You can, I think you can play versus. Uh, what about the uh, other modes available, right? Or if there's any new modes, that'd be pretty cool too. Or what about the creation stuff, right? The creation suite uh, for anything championships arenas superstars right the online stuff the online modes like i said war games would be sick online i think that'd be awesome and a great thing to experience with your buddies or with randoms or just streaming it would be awesome but one other thing i want to say and before i go is next year if they're keeping the whole yearly release okay i don't know how i feel about that yet I, I literally feel I just got 2K22, but now 2K23 is about to come out in like in a month or two, month and a half, right? Or just, yeah, month and a half. And uh, I just feel they could have done the two-year cycle instead of a one-year cycle, one-year change, or one-year release, right? Every year release. Yearly release, there we go. Uh, but if they are going to stick to it, I got something to say. I got, I got an idea here before I leave. And that's the fact that I know who the next cover superstar is going to be next year, easily. The reason why they're doing John Cena, I think, this year is because he's celebrating his 20th year. He celebrated his 20-year career in WWE. So, I gotta say, someone else, there's someone else also celebrating their WWE 20th year career or in the business and that is the boy randy orton sadly i know he's hurt and he did not return in the rumble which i was hoping for crossed all my fingers i w hoped the best for him uh to come back but i mean again maybe he might be back on the raw after mania perhaps that could be when he comes back though he or randy orton on the cover would be sick next year if they're going for the yearly releases of the WWE games definitely randy would be a great great addition or just great uh cover superstar and he's got so many good matches and you know overall so uh, he, he he can definitely be a great choice for next year's cover and next year's main superstar to uh, i guess use utilize for the showcase would be really good if they're going with certain superstars kind of like last year Rey Mysterio this year John Cena next year Randy Orton we they we've seen the Undertaker one I think a couple years ago a couple years back which was really cool but this next year or if they do it next year for 2k24 make Randy Orton the obvious choice I think he's an obvious choice in my book but that's it for you guys I just want to cover the gameplay trailer here it's great stuff it looks good I'm excited I will be getting it obviously I love doing the dirty games or dirty 2k uh matches like elimination chamber matches just uh fantasy matches that we've been doing i have a bunch of playlists or just a whole playlist of different types of matches i've done for halloween christmas heroes power rangers you name it star wars we've we've done quite a bit here so you can check it out uh that's it for the video i like us always appreciate it thank you guys for watching and supporting thank you guys take care stay amazing and i'll see y'all with the next video